Eric here from Throwback Studios, and I have an interesting theory about Rogue's powers in the X-Men cinematic universe. So we're all familiar with Rogue from the X-Men films, and her mutant ability allows her to borrow the powers from another mutant temporarily, and that's about it. But we know that Rogue in the comics and the cartoons does way more than that. She can fly, she has superhuman strength, but it's never been explained why she couldn't in the movies. So in the comics, Rogue gets her powers from Miss Marvel. So obviously this can't happen in the movies as Miss Marvel is owned by Marvel Studios. But about seven X-Men films in and she still only has the power of touch. And here is an interesting theory why. So let's look back at the films Deadpool and Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So in Deadpool, the character Negasonic Teenage Warhead had to be changed from her comic book counterpart, which was that she only had uh, the psychic powers. So in order for Fox to make these changes to that character, they needed Marvel's permission. So they traded and they gave Fox permission to do whatever they wanted with Negasonic Teenage Warhead's powers in exchange for Ego the Living Planet for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So this would kind of be the same for Rogue in a sense, because out of all the X-Men in these X-Men films uh, or the comics, Rogue is the only one who's had different powers um, from how she debuted it in the X-Men comics. So when Rogue first debuted it in the X-Men comics, she only had the power of touch. It wasn't until she got into that battle with Miss Marvel that she was now able to fly and has superhuman strength. So could this be the main reason why Rogue has never had these upgraded powers is because in order for them to make changes to the Rogue character, how she originally debuted in the X-Men comic books, that they may have had to go to Marvel Studios and say, hey, we now need to alter Rogue's powers um, <clears throat> that she had gotten from an Avengers comic book. And something tells me that those altered powers of Rogue actually belong in the realm of Marvel Studios. And so over the years, if Marvel and Fox have never gotten along, Fox wouldn't, they probably didn't want to go through the hassle of asking Marvel Studios, hey, we need to upgrade her powers. And you know, it, it, obviously they can't use Miss Marvel, so they're gonna have to find interesting ways to have Rogue even have superhuman strength. And even to do that, they would probably still have to go to Marvel Studios and say, hey, we need to make changes to Rogue. So this is just a theory, but let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe.